Alright guys, on Hijack and Cooking and Fishing's channel today, I thought it'd be cool to share with y'all some pointers that I picked up from my cousin and I'm applying them to fishing for summer flounder or fluke from shore. Today I was giving shore fluking a shot on a hot summer weekend. The body of water that I was fishing was pretty unique where I'm casting into 40 feet of water. Now based on my experience, the key to fluking in the summer is to find bodies of water where fluke can gain access to deep water as well as the bait. This also includes fishing the incoming tides where the ocean brings in cooler and oxygenated water, ideal for those finicky summer flounder. I was fishing with the Daiwa LeBron 9 feet Suzuki rod paired with the 4000 Daiwa Ballistic. This has been a killer combo for me this year. Now this trip became a landmark event where I ended up catching both my PB fluke in quantity and size. To be exact, I ended up catching 74 fluke where one of them was a keeper. And that keeper ended up measuring 24 inches, which was my personal best from shore. Everything was caught on a half ounce decoy jig head tipped with a gulp grub or a mullet. Now sit back and enjoy this light mix. What's up? There's a baby, uh, there's a baby fluke being chased by a sea robin.
Now at this point I have caught nothing but shorts and I was pretty content that the rest of my day would trend this way. This fluke that I am fighting also ended up being short. But right after this fish I was blessed to hook into a beast as you will see in a few moments. It probably was laying in the sand all along and I dropped my jig right on top of its head. Oh, this fish ended up swallowing the hook, so I harvested it. It didn't go to waste, though. After being in the hot sun for 8 hours, I was in a slight malaise. I couldn't believe I caught my PB after landing 73 short fluke. This goes to show that fluke fishing is highly unpredictable, especially from shore. My goal this year was to top my 23 inch fluke that I caught last year from shore. Now that I've done it, I can't wait to break my record again. Stay tuned.